A devastating factory accident changes a mom's life in an instant. Now surgeons in Chicago are hoping to change it again with an unusual transplant. ABC7 HealthBeat reporter Sylvia Perez shows us in tonight's special segment. Face transplants, arm transplants, they are headline-grabbing surgeries that are life-altering. We have the story of another kind of rare transplant, not as shocking, but no less dramatic for a suburban woman. Oh, it was so terrible because... I'm trying to take it out of my hair right away. On October 14, 2011, Dolores Sanchez's life was changed forever. Dolores had what's called a punch press injury. She was working with a machine which basically uh, deals with significant pounds of force. And unfortunately, her fingers became trapped in the mechanism. In one machine, destroyed my life. On her left hand, the majority of her thumb and about half of her index finger were cut off. The other three fingers were okay, but on the right hand, it was opposite. The thumb and index finger were mostly preserved, but she lost almost all of the middle and both ring and small finger. She was left with two hands that basically didn't work. Enter Dr. John Fernandez, a hand surgeon at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. He had an idea. We're kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul. He proposed removing the couple of inches that was left on the index finger on the left hand because that stump was getting in the way, preventing her from grabbing things. Let's recycle that. Let's try to use that so that it can improve the function on the other hand. So that stump would be transplanted to the remaining part of her middle finger on the other hand, elongating it, making it functional. Sanchez was petrified to have lost so much and to take a chance having part of yet another finger voluntarily removed. I don't know. I'm scared. But with neither hand really working, this operation would give her a chance. Using specialized tools with microscopes, doctors removed what was left of this digit and then, with precision, reattached it. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, and so there's this leap of faith that the patients have to take. Sanchez took the leap and the transplant worked. The rebuilt finger is coming along. It's still requiring some minor procedures, and while it looks bulky now, eventually it may thin out on its own. She's learning slowly to make her own meals, dress herself, and figure out just how this new life and these different hands will work. I want to be independent again. And without this type of surgery, she wouldn't be able to do it at all. So it's a huge thing for her. Now, the plus of a surgery like this is that Sanchez will not have to be on powerful anti-rejection drugs, which carry certain risks. Dr. Fernandez now heads up the Hand, Wrist, and Elbow Institute at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. He encourages patients to always get a second opinion and never give up hope. For more information, you can go to our website, abc7chicago.com.